haven't taken you a miss. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm very much obliged to you for this. And I'll at once discharge the um, obligation by telling you about your reputation. No, 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 no. You've been so friendly as to uh, let me know what certain people say of me, so I've been to follow your benign example by offering you a somewhat um, similar sample. <gasps> well, the other day, I went to an affair, found some most distinguished people there discussing piety, both them false and true. The conversation soon came round to you. Yes. And what good, they said, are all these outward shows when everything belies her pious pose? Well, she prays incessantly, uh, they say. Then she beats her maids and cheats them of their pay. She shows her zeal in every holy place and still is vain enough to paint her face. And she holds that naked statues are immoral, but, well, with a naked man, she'd have no quarrel. Well, of course, I told everyone that they were being viciously unfair, but they were disposed to criticise you and, well, all agreed that someone should advise you to leave the morals of the world alone and worry rather more about your own. Now, madam, you are too intelligent, I'm sure, to think my motive's anything but pure in offering you this counsel. Which I do, out of a zealous interest in you. 